gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right. God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right And your buddy Callie has some big things going on. To tell you what's going on, I'm gonna need a minute. So, the city library has been under construction. I've been visiting almost every day to see what they're building. And guess what? They're building a new kids area. They even let me see. Of course, I had to wear my hard hat and safety vest. <laughs> but I don't mind, I like wearing them. Friends, it is amazing in there! There are all kinds of new books! There's videos to watch! There are things to see, hear, even smell! Today they are finally done with all the construction! They're ready to have it open to all the kids in the neighborhood! All my friends are here! So here's the big, really big, really, really big thing! They want me to cut the ribbon to open the new kids section! And they want me to say some stuff on a microphone in front of everyone. Now, you know your friend Callie has done some big things, but this might be the biggest. There are news cameras here. I might be on TV. Callie's World on TV? Can you imagine it? You can? I'm not sure. I mean, am I the right kid to do this? A lot of my friends love the library just as much as I do. Hey, Callie. This is cool, right? Everyone's here for the opening of the new kids section. You must be so excited. I am. But Stacy, they want me to cut the ribbon and then read my favorite book in front of everyone. That's a big deal, but of course they do. I can't think of anyone better. Really? I'm not so sure. What? Maybe today's Bible story will help. Today's Bible story comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 9. King Solomon became very famous because he was very wise and very rich. He was so famous that everyone outside of his kingdom knew about him. News about how great Solomon was traveled everywhere. One person who heard about Solomon was the Queen of Sheba. She traveled a very long way to visit him and asked him many questions. The Queen asked Solomon anything and everything she had on her mind, and Solomon answered all her questions. Nothing was too hard for him to explain to her. The queen was so amazed. She had traveled to see if the stories about Solomon were true, and she learned that he was even more amazing in person. She also saw all the big things he did, like the palace he built and the temple of God too. She said that God's people must be so happy to have a king like him. The queen would tell that Solomon's wisdom was from God. There was no question that it was only because of God that Solomon had all this treasure and great wisdom. The Queen of Sheba bought Solomon precious gifts like gold and unique spices. Solomon also gave the queen gifts and it ended up being more than she gave him. God helped King Solomon do big things like make wise decisions and build palaces and the temple and do what's best for God's people. We may not be king, but there are many big things we can do too. And we can thank God that God helps us do big things. Of course Solomon could do big things. He was a king. He was the wisest guy in the world. He was rich and powerful. But Callie, you're forgetting who helped him do those big things. It was God, remember? No, you're right. All these people, like the queen, came to visit Solomon. But really, they came to see everything God had done for him. Yeah, and now, just like the queen did for Solomon, I brought you something, Callie. You did? Yeah, I brought you a little book and pen. Thanks! Solomon gave the queen and the story more than what she gave him. I don't have anything for you, Stacy. Callie, the best gift that you can give me is to believe that God made you especially for big moments just like this. Not only can you do it, but you're going to do so great. I just know it. Give me the gift of believing that God helps us do big things. You know what? You got it, Stacy. Let's do this. And it was still warm. 
the end. Isn't that book great? Now, who's ready to see the new kids section of the library? Come on in, friends. I did it! Well, friends, it's just like the Bible story said. We might not be a king or queen. You might not have to read your favorite book in front of hundreds of people. But God has big things for you, too. And God will help you do those big things. I can't wait to cheer you on. Thanks for learning and growing with me. <laughs>